Premier's party, House of Cards. Time to get your dirty politician on. Today we're gonna make Freddy's All-American Ribs. I love these, these are delicious. Freddy is one of my favorite characters. Last we saw, he was down and out, he's lost everything, so I wanna make these for him and really make him proud. We're gonna make a spice rub and a barbecue sauce, put them in a foil packet with the ribs and you bake them for one and a half hours and then you have a barbecue sauce and ribs all done in one packet. Super simple, let's get started. All right, so for our barbecue sauce, we're gonna start off with some peach preserves. This is for Mr. Frank Underwood, a good southern man. This also reminds me of season one when they had that whole issue with the big peach in his hometown. So, one cup peach preserves, then a cup of ketchup, a third a cup apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons Dijon mustard, and two tablespoons Worcestershire. Worcestershire, it's hard to say. And then just mix this all together. So what's great about this recipe is the peach preserves are gonna make it a little sweet. The ketchup and the apple cider vinegar are nice and tangy, and it's gonna make just an all-American, really delicious barbecue sauce. Okay, so the last thing I'm gonna add is two teaspoons of salt, and I'm gonna reserve the rest for our dry rub. So next we're going to put together our dry rub. I'm going to do chili powder, cumin, coriander, salt, black pepper, paprika, cayenne, and now, I'm not going to tell everybody this, but my super secret ingredient is Chinese Five Spice. This is for you, Xander Fang, wherever you might be right now. Now I'm just going to use my fingers and mix this up. Now that I have my barbecue sauce and my dry rub ready, what you want to do is just have a sheet tray with two layers of foil and your ribs in the center. And then you're gonna take your dry rub, and just sprinkle it over the top, get a little dirty. Frank gets dirty all the time, or really he has other people get dirty for him, like Doug, poor Doug. Make sure that both sides are coated. Now these are St. Louis style pork ribs. You can use baby back ribs, but I would definitely recommend sticking with pork for this recipe. All right, once the ribs are completely coated, just turn them so the bone side is down, and then you take your sauce, pour it over. By putting the sauce in the packet, you're gonna guarantee that you have really, really moist ribs because they're basically gonna steam while they cook. And then I'm topping it with three cloves of garlic and some cut onion, just one small yellow onion that you slice up. All right, now the folding is super important for this because you want to make sure it's totally airtight, okay? So fold the sides in, the short sides in first, and then lift up the long ends together so that they meet at the top. And then you just want to keep folding them down so that you have a really, really tight seal. Nobody's going to get into these ribs secret service protected ribs. Once they're like this, you can just pop them in the oven. So into a 300 degree oven for an hour and a half. Okay, so my ribs have been for an hour and a half. Here's another secret that I'm gonna tell just to you. Don't unwrap the packet for 30 minutes to get super moist and tender ribs. Now that the ribs have sat for 30 minutes, I'm just gonna open up the foil packet. And you can see that the sauce has thickened already and it looks just like a barbecue sauce. 
Next, I'm just gonna take a rubber spatula. You just wanna push the sauce off of the ribs. The ribs have also let out its juices, so that's just a, an extra ingredient you weren't even expecting in your barbecue sauce. It's all that awesome pork flavor. So I'm gonna move the ribs to the sheet tray because you wanna get the sauce on its own. Have a strainer and a pot already ready. And then you take the foil packet really carefully and strain it into your pan. You want to make sure everything goes through to the strainer except for your onions and garlic. Once you've strained your barbecue sauce, just put it over heat for three to five minutes just to have it thicken up. So the final touch for these ribs, I'm just going to take the thickened barbecue sauce, brush it over the top. Once you lather these guys up really well, save the rest of the sauce for later because people can just dip their ribs in for some extra sauce. So just cut them up. Alright, so these are all cut up and I'm just going to put them in my basket and get ready to serve. I'm ready for President Underwood and Claire to come over. I think Freddie would be super proud of these delicious all-American style ribs. Definitely make these ribs. They're super delicious. And subscribe below and check out our other House of Cards recipes.